Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sacred Guard, and welcome back to Monster Girl Quest Paradox, the collab. On the last episode, we finally, finally took control of Kazuya, um, met Lampus, met Hakunin, who I'm learning is from the Three Charms series of games, a Three Charm series game. I don't know if I'll play that in the future, Maybe I will. If anybody can drop me a link to find that game with an English translated port, uh, I'll gladly play it in the future. But for now, I'm probably not gonna. Um, but right now, we need to make our way around. Yeah, so I got the fox statue blocking my way, so I gotta find my way around. Uh, I guess this way? No, let's talk to everybody. Aren't there any ma mangas here? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. The lamp is apparently like, um, romantic manga or drama or something. This labyrinth was created by Muska. It looks like she used some kind of magic to extend space and replicate matter. But replication magic has its limits. For example, there is nothing written in the books here. Oh. Well, that's boring. Hello, I don't have the intention to fight. I see. That's good. See you then. Bye-bye. We'll see each other again anyway, though. Uh, okay. Let's try this way first. What? Oh, this place is the place we just came from. Yeah, I remember that spirit fox over there. What the heck? What a quick return. Oh, well, do your best. What? Oh, no. Am I going to be stuck in a loop? No, okay. This room is different. Okay. Alright, I can already tell what's going on. I got a... Whew. Figure out the pattern. Um, let's try this way. Nope. Here again. If we don't follow the correct path, it looks like we'll keep going back here. The correct path, our memory is being tested. I'm not very confident. Can I leave it to you two? Sure. You're not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed anyway. Neither here nor in shrift. I never did really like memory puzzles in a game. And I fucked up. I never did like memory puzzles in a game because, like, it, it, it's like it's treating me like a baby, and I hate that. Okay. So, forward, forward, forward. Uh. How about up? Okay. This place seems to be a crossroads. If you're a man, go straight. Can I really trust you? Uh, pretty sure. No. Falchion. Okay. Oh, goodness. Should I trust... Should I trust Lampus? I feel like I shouldn't trust Lampus. I'm gonna get screwed over, aren't I? It didn't work. Sorry. Has the apology will give you a drop? Uh... But yeah, I recently learned... Um, well, not exactly recently. It's been so long since I've managed to be able to do a recording, but I've, I've been told in the comments, like, just focus on what I'm trying to do, what I need to do with my life. And I thank you guys for the support. It, like, for the support. It really means a lot. Is it go right? No. Across from before we tried to pass. Yeah. No, there's still one path we haven't tried, right? The loop I broke through before, the solution must be the same. Yeah, I went backwards. So... But I thank you guys for the support. It really means a lot. And I'm still trying my best to be able to do what I have to do. I just recently ended up having to go through and file taxes because unemployment is not doing anything for me. Here we go. I never thought going back the way we came would be the right thing to do. Well done, Kazuya. It might not look like it, but I've been through a lot of predicaments. Hmm. <sighs> And in those situations, flexible thinking made a difference between life and death. As expected of you, Kazuya, I've learned a lot. It's because I solved the exact same problem earlier. I can't, I can't tell him. Yeah, just, just let him believe I'm awesome. Seems that there are only Lampus and us here. As for Muska, I guess we could call it a contractual relationship. Honestly, I just want to get it over with and get back to my world. That Muska seems pretty vicious. Hmm. Sometimes it's nice to have a cross world have cross world interactions. Mm. 
Yeah, about that. Actually, now that I think about it, it's strange that I haven't seen a single apoptosis around because they're completely against cross-world interactions. How many of us have come here from the looks of it? Quite a lot of us have been tossed into this world. Well, I'll immediately go home once I'm done with my work, though we might increase in number in this world. Increase in the Oh, right, because... Better shield. There we go. Okay. Um, who really needs the shield? He has, like, no equipment, so I, I need to give him something. Otherwise, he's utterly useless. Hello? A human? You a civilian? A monster? Y you're wrong. We're... It's okay. We're here to rescue you. Are you hurt? As expected, he's experienced. I don't have any injuries. I'm just exhausted from running around all over the place. No injuries as far as I can see. But it's obvious that he's mostly agitated. Whew. In that case... I see. So you're not hurt. Now, what's your name? Oh yeah, that's right. He's um, not just a devil hunter, but he's like... He has a detective agency too, I think? In these cases, ask a series of questions and force them to use their brains. It's a little trick to get a confused victim to regain their composure. My name is Tony. Hey, you. Are you here because... Yes, I'm investigating what happened. Can you tell me what's been going on? What's been going on, you say? Did you get sucked into a black vortex too? A black vortex? I don't remember seeing anything like that. You didn't see any black vortex? Then how did you get here? How, you're asking? This is the village I live in, Finoa. Finoa. Is that an actual village in on the world map? I can't remember. No, I'll worry about it later. Finoa, Tony, the village he lives in. As I suspected, this world looks like a medieval or early modern world. Naturally, it raises a lot of questions at the same time. But the irony of this method of questioning is to keep looking like you understand everything. Then, even though you were living a very normal life in this village, suddenly everything around you went crazy. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what's going on, and I'm scared. So scared. So scared I don't want to be touched. Don't touch me. Someone called Muska started talking about a game or something in my head. Help me, please. Help me now. <sighs> I mean... I'm trying, but, you know, sitting there begging, desperately begging isn't really going to help at all. I've seen similar cases before. I've experienced in my world that a demon's intervention can turn people's homes into other worlds. If that's what happened here, this strange vastness would make sense. It's because there are demonic barriers that can turn space into a labyrinth. In other words, he is, he is a civilian who lived here from the beginning, and unfortunately, he's been involved in this matter. All right, let's get out of here together. Can you stand up? Whew, finally calmed down. I'm glad you guys showed up. The second Tony got up from his chair, oh no. Suddenly my heart raced. Kazuya, somehow I feel a very bad presence. He about to get shot, isn't he? Everyone, get away from here. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you, visitors from Parallel Worlds. I come from another world as well, though. You look like you're a high school student. But I can tell for a fact, you're not. Stay away from me, I will shoot you. Are you, you're Muska? I can understand it from experience just by facing her. This one is on a completely different level compared to those demons with lots of free time. Oh boy. You're in an unfamiliar world, but you sure are working very hard. You joined forces and made it to this place. <clears throat> you have just the right amount of fear. You look delicious. Time to eat. Oh. Uh, well. Miska examined Tony's expression with an easygoing attitude and forced her lips to his. Oh, boy. Tony immediately screams as his body convulses. Even though he was writhing so violently, he couldn't escape from Miska's kiss. And he's dead. Hakanen tries to intervene, but I hold him back with my left arm. 
Don't go. You can't be saved anymore. He's a lost cause. Everybody press F in the chat for Tony. Tony wastes away, save her in the kiss of death. Then she greedily consumes his life before our very eyes. Thank you for the meal. Yep. And he's a freaking... <coughs> a freaking husk. Oh, isn't that just fantastic? So are we going to have a Ludite village incident all over again? As soon as Muska separates her lips from his, Tony collapses to the ground. His corpse is dried up, but his face is twisted with joy. This is horrible. Uh, so which one of you is going to be my next prey? Of course, I'm fine with taking you both at the same time. Muska's bewitching eyes finally turn to us. Hakunin, run with all you've got. Don't look back. Uh, yes. Confronting this monster directly is absolutely impossible. Right now, running away is all we can do. Just gonna chase you running away from her. If you get caught, it's game over. Oh, oh. Okay. No, no. Cut it. There we go. Oh wait, why didn't I just go backwards? I'm stupid. Just go backwards. Just go backwards. You dunce. Oh. Do you want to play tag? Okay. Do your best to run away. We have to get out of here. It's over for us if she catches us. <sighs> Any items? No. Anything here? Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nope. Nope. Okay. <sighs> we got away. Where are we? Hey, don't make too much noise. We have a lot of injured people here. There are so many victims. This is terrible. Mostly, like, older men. Oh, there are a lot of people left. Of course she followed. Of course she followed. What's more, they can't move because of their injuries. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Oh, God. Help me. Stop. Leave the civilians alone. In this situation, I can't say that we have a chance of winning. We need to buy everyone as much time as possible to evacuate. And, of course... Do you really want me to eat you that badly? But I'm saving the main dish for later, okay? Musica's power is in the realm of Lucy and Titana Boas. It's not a level a mere human can compete with. Where is Titana Boa? I, I miss her. Like th there was a like there was a reason I chose her as a bride over everybody else. Like I actually like her. Plus her backstory is compelling. Like she needs all the love she can get. Again, am I unable to do anything once again? And now it's time to eat you all. Dead. Oh, yep, Ludite Village. It was exactly like when someone eats messily and spills food all over the place. Muska squeezed out the energy of one man after another. Yep. Ludite Village. <laughs> and in a small amount of time it takes us to get up after being knocked down. She killed five human beings and turned them into dried up corpses. Um, well, this world truly is an all you can eat buffet. With that said, I guess I'm satisfied for now. I'll eat you guys after you become even more delicious. I don't know how that works, but okay. See you later. And with that, Muska disappears, leaving so many corpses behind. If only I actually had the guts to straight up fight her and then one shot her. I wish. But something tells me if that if she actually got to me, it would have been an immediate game over. <laughs> oh, God. This is too horrible. I can't believe how easy it is for her to kill a human being. It's sad, but some demons are like that. It's not the first time I've met someone like her. Like someone who would keep human beings as provisions for her dinner, or someone who only thinks of others as prey. Anyway, it seems like she... It seems she let us off the hook. I can roughly imagine why. It is said that the flesh of the flesh and energy of a human trembling with fear are a delicacy to demons. She gave us more time to ripen up. I can't expect them expect them to help me like at the time at that time. We must avoid letting fear and anger control us. Oh, like with arachne. Whoa, what's this? This is kinda disgusting. 
Oh, the foxes. What's going on? Sheesh. Fucking dead. One more and I was dead. I still can't stop trembling. Please wait here. I'll definitely call for help. Why is this happening? You were living peacefully in this village. How terrifying. Yeah, it be that way. Those green monsters have been able to get here for the time being. We don't have anything, have any, have to worry about food. I saw that you guys were fairly skilled. Please get out of here and go get help. Yes, we will do our best. Sheesh. The yellow ones aren't very dangerous, but those plant monsters, however, are extremely dangerous. Many of us have been captured by those plants. I wonder what those lights are. My comrades, this is where you found your partners. Hmm. We were recruited by Muska, but honestly, going this far is disgusting. She said we could attack men all we wanted and drink sake as much as we wanted, but she never said anything about doing such horrible things. Ah, see, it's, they have their limits. We are drunkards, yeah. We are yokai weak to our lust and desires, but still, we would never take a life. That's right. You like playing pranks, but you're not bad, yokai. Yeah, it's, it's true to uh, Kitsune lore. To think it would turn out like this. We're a bit bewildered by the magnitude of the situation. So we won't attack you anymore, and we'll stop helping Yuska. Let us know if you have any problems. If there's anything we can do, we will help you. The problem is, we don't have enough fighting power. You become our comrades and join us? Well, that's a little... The probability we'll have to fight Yuska is high. I'd rather not do that. Understood. I'll go with you. As expected of Dream Fox, the most reckless fox among our people. Once again, you're going to build another legend? I'm going to show you what a fox is capable of. Those three are getting incredibly excited somehow. This tension is not my cup of tea, after all. Are you sure about that? I think it's going to be pretty dangerous. I mean, look at all the situations. That, I mean, how is it? Does it really matter how dangerous it's going to be? Like, you and Kazuya and your respective worlds have already put up with a lot of crap. Hey, Hakuna, we played tag once, you know? Is that so? Sorry, I couldn't distinguish the faces at the time. I heard a lot of rumors about you. I thought it would be a great opportunity to go on an adventure with you. Thank you. You'll be of great help. It's all thanks to your virtue of character, Hakuna. No, someone like me still has a long way to go. Well then, please take care of me. Alright, there we go. <coughs> I'm glad to have more companions. Now we're four. The biggest challenge will be Muska, after all. Muska is an extraordinary as a demon, both in strength and greed. It might not be nice to say, but she isn't someone we can beat just because we've got one more member. Is escaping outside without being noticed the only way, after all? It's uh, Indeed, it's the best thing to do, but it may be difficult depending on the situation. Muska has no intention of letting us escape. I can tell from her words. Her words and her actions. Look at what she did. Five men like in the span of like ten seconds. Um, before we leave, I would like to pray for the deceased over there. Yeah, we can't just leave the bodies like that. I'll help. Although it couldn't be helped because there was nothing we could have done against a monster like that. It weighs heavily on my heart that I couldn't help those people even though they were in front of me. Unless we get out of here, we can't bury them. At the very least, I'll do what I can to help. We carried the bodies to the beds and covered them with the sheets. That's all we could do. Let's go. We'll join forces and get out of here alive. Yes, I will accompany you. I'll do my best as well. Want to lick my drops to cheer you up? The exit is not far away. I can feel it. Oh my god. She's just as cheap. <laughs> <coughs> like it's not like, it's not cringy, but she's like so cheesy. She's just uh, rather cheesy here as she was in her base game. We're almost there, but the wall separating us from it seemed large. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right, let me see you. Banquet lover can always equip bangs, harps, fans, use dancing and singing skills at 50% SP cost. Okay. 
33% chance of using Song of Maho Roba at the start of battle. B skills use dexterity in place of attack. Targeted 75% is often by enemies. Okay. Song of Maho Roba. What the heck was. This is all status resistances up. Oh, okay. Oh, a job book. What is this book? I feel a mysterious power. Oh, is this that the first time you've seen it? I see you guys are new to this world. This is a job change book. It works as an agency for adventurers, adventurers in this world. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. It works as an agency for adventurers in this world. Miuska showed me too. I wasn't really interested, so I ignored it. What's an agency for adventurers? You like like guilds and stuff. Well, I can guess what it is. I remember there was a similar machine in my world. Because it's just a job change book. It scans the experience he's accumulated so far. What's this? If someone comes from a world without a job change system like ours, the experience gained in the original world will also be applied to the acquired job. I see. Can you choose a job that suits you? Do his experience in another world cause he has acquired warrior job, swordsman. Looks like I've learned a lot of skills. Those look like sword related techniques. Amazing. But it looks like it's not over yet. Still touching the job change book. Hunter. Gunner. Well, of course, I've used a lot of guns so far. It's still going. Kazuya, you've been through a lot. And... Magician and Black Mage. Makes sense. This is where my magical experience was applied. Looks like that's it. Then, I'm next. I'm kind of nervous. You trained as a monk. Does that mean you'll become one? But I was halfway through my training. Let's try. I can touch the job change book, scans the experience. Priest, okay. Incredible. I thought this path was closed in the middle. Still, your experience must have counted. Besides, it looks like it's not over yet. Still touching the job change book. Experience acquired martial artist. Overpowering fist, nice. M martial artist? And I have more experience in it compared to priest? It's because you went on a rampage on Maharoba Mountain. Moreover, it's still going on. Hawkinen, you seem to be quite experienced as well. <laughs> oh my goodness, what else could he learn? What? Yeah, I think everybody's expression here, except for Dream Fox. Dream apparently seems to like it, but everybody else, I think their expression speaks for me i am majorly confused it must be some kind of mistake y yeah i couldn't say anything else oh i'll give it a try now touch the job change book thief master thief thief so you were a bandit Looks like you have a habit of stealing things this thing makes me look bad and it seems like it's still going on well, you are a Kitsune, like, thievery, pranks, it's like, it's your thing. I was expecting Hakunen to get, like, a Taoist job or something. <laughs> priest, so he was a, he's a monk, obviously, he's a monk, gets the priest job, and the freaking uh, overpowering fist. Prostitute, where does that come from? Gadabout, okay. This isn't decent. Maybe I should change the way I live. Minstrel. Okay. I sing a lot when I'm drunk. Are you telling me something like that counts as a job experience? I'm next. I wonder what I'll get. Probably nothing good. Lamp. Experience you accumulated. Gad about. Dancer. Okay. Dancer? It's true that I danced a lot while watching Hell TV. Does something like that really count? Isn't this evaluation quite appropriate, though? This thing is sloppy. It can't be relied upon. Hakunen. Anyway, I feel like we've all become explosively stronger. Isn't that cheating? This is the power we originally cultivated in our own world. It just reapplied in this world. Yeah, this made me instantly stronger. It should make the fights from here on out a lot easier. 
Also, it looks like we can get more advanced jobs. Let's not forget to check the job change book. Okay. Yeah, level 10 gunner, dancer, overpowering fist, okay. Oh my goodness. I'm... Um, mm. So that's the case. Can I get Devil's Eye? Yeah, here we go. We got demons to infuse the power with the power of evil. Technically, not really. So it's to purge the world of evil. Okay. That. Saint Fist, cause he's he's got priest and whatnot too, so I give him Saint Fist. Does it mean, wait, does that mean? Yeah, he's got these too. Oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> Trickster. Divine Song Trist. <laughs> You're like, Kazi is human, but like at the same time, he's, you know, he, he's got more going on than that. If anything, like he should have access to the, uh, like the angel race because the power that he got in the first place the the source of the magic was angelic in nature so or even not just regular angel just like fallen angel if anything should i change hakunin because I, I i feel i feel like if i do this 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 actually makes sense to his character from what I'm seeing so far, that part of his, that he would have like the worm thing. You know what, for, <laughs> for shits and giggles, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, give him that. Although, wait, does it change what he can equip? No, it doesn't, okay. Rear convention. Um, <coughs> considering the natures of Lampus, uh, maybe not all around Saint. Mm. Yeah, the flower of Nirvana. Um, be sure to make it. High rank it's in. Okay. Check everybody's equipment just in case. Okay, she's already got a fang. Oh goodness. I'm just gonna like skip ahead so when I'm finished like equipping all of this stuff, and then we'll continue onwards. The ones in this section and our people are from different packs, so we can't just pass so easily. There are factions even among the foxes. You could have told us that sooner. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to take them down and move on as usual. Yeah, nothing changes. Okay. I, I feel like I'm not. Yeah, there's a statue there. Camping rucksack. to you. So gotta go all the way around. Oh my goodness. I wonder what game this freaking Muska chick is from. I think I read it in the comment, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll buy some souvenirs and go back to my Haroba Mountain. Can we really go home though? I'm sure you can. We just gotta Ooh. Hawking in your luck, you finally got a weapon. 
Now he's not completely useless. Mishka doesn't say much when we slack off. It feels like she's satisfied as long as we properly chase humans around. She said that humans become delicious when they're afraid. I don't really understand that, though. Yeah, because for you guys, it's not like that. There are many similar terrains in this labyrinth, aren't there? Is this the so-called copy and paste? <laughs> to think magic allows you to do something like that so easily. Yuska is incredibly powerful. Not as powerful as White Rabbit and Reaper, though. So. Okay. Herb. I want to go back to my world soon. Is obeying Muska the only way to go back? Is that the only way? To begin with, there's a rumor that even Muska doesn't know how to go back home. If that were true, we wouldn't be able to return to our world either. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll live a lazy life in this world. Besides Muska, there are other big shots as well. They are called the Alliance or something. And all of them are rampaging together as a group. This world is finished, isn't it? Are you sure it, like it's the Alliance and not the Legion of Doom or something? Harp of Blessings. Okay. Yeah, you know, I never did check. Sonic Strike, Confusion Strike, Life Booster. Hmm. You can always use the other stuff anyway. So, I mean, if this get like gives us like extra healing boost, yeah, do that. Or would it be better on Lampus, maybe? Lampus equip? No, she no, she can't equip a harp. Okay. Never mind. Hello. Look at the spirit box shop. I'll make a lot of money and go home. Okay. Well, here, I'll, I'll make sure to give you a lot, lots and lots. go okay saw a strange Japanese doll earlier I wonder if she's a minion of Muska and the others a Japanese doll don't tell me is that Mukuro is Mukuro here there seem to be a lot of succubi among the allies I wonder what Kateria the queen of dreams used to choose her allies was Mukuro here I think Mukuro is here Oh my goodness, like, out of all the girls that were there, like, Mukuro actually looked the most normal. I'll keep sleeping until everything's over. <laughs> no, that is a mood. Oh my goodness, Mukuro. Where's she at? Because if I didn't choose Tatana Boa, I probably would have chose Mukuro. My God, to think she's here as well. Will she get angry when she finds us? My God. Oh, that lady that was with, uh... Rigello and whatever. Starting a business here. Come on, buy something. Ooh, weapons. Okay, let's see. The fire whip. No point getting a sword. This with you two. Get that for Lampus. You two. Get that for Hakanen. As much as I would like to have the magic stat up, I don't really think you guys need it. Get that for you. Get that. Fire whip. 
Boom. Boom. Well, maybe I will. Yeah, yeah, put the thing on. Okay. Get you out of the way. Alright. There's a bed here. Okay. Goodness. So calm. Oh, that's a hmm. But I want to keep this anyway for the attribute bullets. Yeah, that one gun that I I needed the zero dimensional transponder device or whatever to create the MK whatever. I think I saw a rabbit earlier. Was it my imagination? A rabbit, Mukro and White Rabbit. Wait. Boom. It's a type of stairs I've never seen before. Did we finally make it to the exit? <gasps> Yoo-hoo! Hey, how you doing? Whoa! What? Is this an enemy attack? Come on, calm down. I'm a white rabbit. I'm not your enemy. I mean, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Who's to say? Different possibilities, different dimensions. I've come here to guide you. You who shoulder great destinies. There's no way we would trust you. You're one of Miyosuka's allies as well, aren't you? No, at the very least, she isn't. Re she really isn't hostile. As a matter of fact, she didn't try to attack us from behind. I actually knew somebody from my world that acted the exact same way. If she really wanted to get rid of us, she would. It's a shame I can't see her no more. It's a shame that she doesn't have a my room because I really wish that she did. And I could hang out with her quite often, learn some more. Moreover, she said something about guiding us as soon as we met. Anyway, let's listen to this demon. Yep, yep. Experienced people are great. Even someone as suspicious looking as me can get through to them. It's not the first time I've met someone like you. Still, I'll keep my guard up against a surprise attack. As expected of you, Kazuya. You've been through a lot of different experiences. Nevertheless, you're doing pretty well. Kazuya, you seem to be, to be able to use magic again. Everyone's fighting power everyone's fighting power is quite something as well. As they expected of the chosen heroes, you have the strength needed to deal with this crisis. Wait a minute. Why did she say you can use magic again? Wait. I I'm I'm going based off like a guess here, but is it possible that this white rabbit is the same white rabbit that I'm gonna end up meeting when I actually get the chance to start the Shrift collab? Because that's the only way that she would be able to know Kazuya by name, right? That's, this actually makes sense now as to why everybody, uh, they're always telling me to play this first, then the Shrek collab. Because she knows him from there, or at least a Kazuya, so. The Chosen Heroes? What are you talking about? Okay, I'll give you a quick explanation then. It'll be bad if I don't hurry up and go, so I'll make it easy for you. First, a villain from another world appeared in this world. The Queen of Dreams is about to take over this world. Then, the Queen of Dreams summoned allies from various other worlds. In short, they're a bunch of bad guys. And that's why this world is in big trouble. When one door is shut, another one opens. To defeat the Queen of Dreams and her allies, seven heroes were gathered from various parallel worlds. And those heroes are you! Therefore, do your best to defeat the Queen of Dreams. I see. I get the gist of it. Huh? You understood all that? I mean, yeah, literally one person summoned a bunch of other, one evil person summoned a bunch of other evil people, and we as the chosen few who actually stand against the darkness have to beat her and her allies back. That's literally it. So, who summoned us into this world? Maybe it wasn't the work of anyone. Maybe it was caused by something like the will of history? The will of history? I see. You're talking about a countermeasure system. 
Ooh. Excuse me. And unless we defeat the Queen of Dreams, we won't be able to get back to our respective worlds. I'm glad the discussion is progressing so quickly, as opposed to how it would normally go whenever we talk to her. The idea of demons existing was simply dropped on me out of the blue. It's much less a headache to understand than it's a doubt. More importantly, judging by the way you're acting like a third party, I'm assuming that this explanation is all the help we'll get from you. Your understanding is perfect! I'm neutral, I can't help you directly. I don't understand the difficult stuff, but I mostly get the picture. In other words, we are heroes called from another world, and we just have to defeat that Queen of Dreams, right? Okay, I can see where this is going. I never thought I'd be a hero. No, you are the villain's allies I talked about. The heroes are those two humans. Eh? The Queen of Dreams summoned that Muse summoned that Muska as an ally. Me and Hakunin are heroes meant to stop them. To think that so many crazy strong monsters were gathered together. No doubt it must be a crisis in this world. The seven heroes have a crest on the back of their hands. It's called the Proof of Collaboration. It's a sign proving that you've been chosen. Proof of Collaboration? Hakun and I look at the crest on the back of our hands. This is the proof that we are the heroes chosen to save this world. Yeah, the proof of collaboration. You have to work together to overcome the crisis. And that's the end of my story. It helps that you guys are so quick to understand. Well, I have to go now. Oh, I'm busy, so busy. I'm late for a very important date. See ya. And there she goes. Uh, I didn't understand any of that. What about you, Kazuya Hakunin? You literally just sat there and listened to the fact that he said, I understand, and, and like, like he, was, he was literally saying, like, I get it, I understand. There are three main points. One, the one responsible for all this is the Queen of Dreams who has appeared in this world. Two, we were gathered from parallel worlds to defeat the Queen of Dreams. Three, we can't return to our world unless we defeat the Queen of Dreams. Oh, well, that's about it. I see. I learned a lot. It's amazing that you can understand such complicated details in that explanation. No, she didn't say anything complicated. It's hard to understand because it's just extremely surprising. As expected of you, Kazuya, you must be- Yeah, you said that already. We were summoned by the bad guys. Well, I figured I wasn't a hero. The rumor from Maharova has come to a parallel world to wreak havoc, or something like that. But you two are helping us, aren't you? You're definitely not evildoers. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit happy to hear that. Now, talking to him for you, he's so kind. The Bride Fox was right. Bride Fox? The Bride Fox said that? Oh, didn't I tell you? Your wife is an acquaintance of mine, eh? So you and my wife know each other. You must know a lot of people then. Wait, what? The Bride? Wait. He's married? He's married. Wait. He's married, but apparently has participated in prostitution. Can somebody explain that to me, please? I don't have the games. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. Is he actually married, or is this just? It's just a thing. Is it just a meme? To think you would meet an old friend of your wife, fate can be really strange. Wait, you're married, Hakunin? Yeah, see, I... Yes, my wife is too good for someone like me. To think he was a married man. That guy must have been through a lot as well. We don't have time to talk about me right now. Let's go. <laughs> the dude's actually married, I can't believe this. I agree with you, Mr. Hakunin. I shall humbly follow you. What's going on, Kasuya? <laughs> uh, he's, he's treating them properly, like you're a married man. You gotta be you gotta be treated with respect. You clearly been through must have been through a lot more hardships than he has. Anyway, White Rabbit's story helped me understand the existence of the Queen of Dreams. We were brought together to defeat the Queen of Dreams. But right now we can't do anything if we don't get out of here. We must stop Musica's game and escape to the outside. But that is gonna have to wait for another video because I have run this on a little too long and I wanna be able to get to other stuff that I'm thinking about doing. There's a lot of other projects that I really need to catch up on and I'm trying to make as much time as I can to actually do something, but 
all you know my current situation as it is so it's making it a lot harder to do so but i will try to get back on schedule as per the norm so next time i want to request paradox uh the collab we're gonna go through see if we can be able to stop musica's game and i'm assuming that we're gonna end up seeing another one of the heroes eventually see you guys then